What's going on, YouTube community? It's your boy, Wild Jim Blog TV, coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, guys, I have a question. Do you guys have a problem with Derrick Rose already talking about the 2017 free agency? Because that's when he'll be a free agent. And I don't know if you guys watched the, just a little clip, but in the clip, he pretty much was saying how, you know, when the league is giving out these X amount of dollars to these players, of course, it's going to raise your eyebrows. It's going to make you think about it. You know, it's going to make you wonder, like, hmm, how much can I make? How much am I deserved? Um, I know I deserve a big, big contract. And, he, you know, he just said, you, you know, you just see how much, how you just see all the money that um, they're passing out in the league. You know, he said he's just telling the truth, just knowing that my day will be coming soon. And, of course, you know, He's then had some problems with the Chicago fan base and things of that nature because a lot of times, like one particular season, they, they wanted him to pretty much play in the playoffs that they felt like he could play, at least give it a run, but he decided not to do that. Now, Derrick Rose have had a lot of injuries. You know, after his MVP season and, of course, that devastating knee injury in the playoff in the first round against the Philadelphia Punk ass Sixers, where the coach should have took his ass out the game. That matter of fact, that was my first big YouTube video, by the way. But he got taken down. If that would have never happened, he wouldn't have probably been in this position in the first place. But anyway, Derrick Rose had a slew of injuries, and that had kept him for the last three seasons miss over a hundred plus games, like a lot. And you know, I think. A lot of people are going to be wondering, like, why would he make these comments? And he really haven't been back to that old MVP Derek form. You know, he's still he's still trying to get people to believe that he is back. Because let's just face it, over the past three years, um, he shot forty three. Uh, let me see, he shot forty three percent, twenty one. He averaged twenty one points, um, seven point nine assists. Great year, but then the injury came in. 2013-2014, he shot thirty five percent. He averaged 15 points, 4.3 assists. Then last season, 40%, um, 17 points. Now, granted, he showed you almost an old Derrick Rose. He played better. Now, in the playoffs, he did get outshowed by Delva Dover. He got outplayed by Delva Dover. I will agree that, especially in the pivotal, uh, pivotal game. I think it was game six, I believe. But anyway, I don't know what question was asked to make him even say this. But I'm pretty sure he was asking. And he was just telling the truth. Which there is nothing wrong with telling the truth. It's just some things you just shouldn't say though. Unless he's a player who's actually been proven over the last three, two, two, three years. That I can see if Derrick Rose was the old Derrick Rose. Then he can come out and say this. But, you know, he's still trying to get his name back up there as an elite point guard. Or an elite player. And some may say he may not ever get back to that. To that, to that form. I believe he will, but we just have to wait and see. But what he need to do is just stay focused, stay focused on basketball, think about this upcoming season. Because look now, he's injured again. Probably might miss 28, 30 games. See what I'm saying? So if he was asked a question, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even respond to it because you know you're going to get a lot of slack, especially from the, how your how his productivity has been over the past two, three years. You know, it hasn't been great. OK, so I don't know, man. I, I, Derrick Rose, my, I, I always fucking love Derrick Rose. I, I was happy just to see him play through the season, even though he missed 30, 30 games and even make it to the playoffs and just play because it was just great to see him back on the court, you know. But, um, yeah, um, and also, this thing about trying to get enough money to, you know, even though they're comfortable right now, a lot of these players, look, look, you know, look, cut the bullshit out. I hate when I hear players say, say that they're, you know, they're trying to make sure that their family is taken care of for the X amount of years. These motherfuckers are signing $90 million, $100 million contract, got an endorsement. Your family can be fine if you was making hundred k a year. So when I hear players say that they're doing this for their family, it be a bunch of bullshit. They want the money, and I do not fucking blame them. Some may say, some people may say they're greedy, but hey, I hate if you're gonna say it. Don't throw in the family thing. You're ninety something million fucking dollars he has signed for. I'm pretty sure your fucking family is fine. But that's just me, man. I hate when players fucking throw their family in there. How much money do you need for your family to live comfortable? If I had a hundred million dollars, my family is good for the rest of their life, unless you, unless I fuck around and mess it up somehow. 
or even 150 or 200 million. That's fine. How much more money do you need? So when players say that, kiss my ass. I just throw that out the window. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Derek Rose comments, man. Comment, subscribe, favorite, like, share. Check out previous videos. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and I'm out, man. Deuces.